One, two, three, four. Welcome, third grade scholars, to your second online rhythm lesson. Let's take a look at what we're working with today. We've got a time signature of 4-4, four, four, which means that we're going to have four beats in each measure. We've got quarter notes. We've got four, two, three, four sixteenth notes connected with a beam, which we would count one, E, and a, uh, right? We've got four eighth notes connected with a beam, which is just one and two, and we've got two eighth notes connected with a beam, which would be, in this case, three and, and then we've got a quarter rest at the very end, which we need to remember to count in our heads so that it is silent. So let's take a look at the first measure. <clears throat> we've got one E and a two, three E and a four. Let's practice that together. One E and a two, ready and a play. One E and a two, three E and a four. Nice, let's do it again. One E and a two, ready and a count. One E and a two, three E and a four. Nice, let's do that again. Last time, last practice, ready, count. One E and a two, three E and a four. Now. Do you see another measure that is the same as this one? That's right. The next measure, exactly the same. Look at that. Look at that pattern. All right? Remember, always look for the patterns. When we find the patterns, the music becomes easier. So let's, we already know this second measure. Let's do both of these measures together. One E and a two, red D and a count. One E and a two, three E and a four. One E and a two, three E and a four. Nice. Let's practice again. Red D and a count. One E and a two, three E and a four. One E and a two, three E and a four. Nice. Excellent job. You're getting the hang of this. Third measure, a lot of eighth notes, right? One and two and three and, and then four is just a quarter note. So let's practice that together. Ready and count. One and two and three and four. Nice, let's do it again. Ready, count. One and two and three and four. Now let's add it to our first two measures. So we're going to do first, second, and third measures. And we're going to stop right here. Ready? Count. One E and a two. Three E and a four. One E and a two. Three E and a four. One and two and three and four. Nice. Let's practice that one more time. One E and a two, red D and a count. One E and a two, three E and a four. One E and a two, three E and a four. One and two and three and four. All right, let's take a look at the last measure. Notice the first two measures are exactly the same as what we were doing in the first and second me measure. <clears throat> first two beats, rather. Third beat, just a quarter note, and then our fourth beat is the rest. So this should be easy. We know all the parts, let's just put them together. Red D and a count. One E and a two, three. 
Were you silent on the rest? Let's make sure we are. Do it again. Ready? Ready and uh, count. One E and uh, two, three. Nice, that was better. So let's try the whole thing. One E and uh, two. Ready and uh, count. One E and uh, two. Three E and uh, four. One E and uh, two. Three E and uh, four. One and two and three and four. One E and uh, two. Three. Good. Again, ready and uh, count. One E and uh, two. Three E and uh, four. One E and uh, two. Three E and uh, four. One and two and three and four. One E and uh, two. Three. Good. This time, I want you to count it and play the drums on your legs. One E and a two. Ready and a play. One E and a two. Three E and a four. One E and a two. Three E and a four. One and two and three and four. One E and a two. Three. Nice. It's a little bit tricky when you start to play and count at the same time. So let's practice that one more time. Ready and uh, play. One E and uh, two. Three E and uh, four. One E and uh, two. Three E and uh, four. One and two and three and four. One E and uh, two. Three. Excellent. Now, when I'm done talking, you can pause this and practice this as much as you want. And then your assignment is to teach this to someone in your family. So you're going to want to practice this a lot so you can teach them all of the measures. So just pause it, practice it like as many times as you need. Remember when we're on the pianos, we practice a lot before we're ready to pass a song. So practice this as much as you need to. And then call someone in your house over and teach them how to say this rhythm. And maybe even play it on their legs. And if you don't think they can play the whole thing, maybe just try the first measure. Because for someone who's never done this before, like maybe your mom or dad, maybe they haven't done this since they were in third grade then it may be kind of hard for them. So you may need to teach them just one measure. But if you can, try to do the whole thing, but at least one, and have fun doing it, okay? Maybe once you guys, once you've taught it to someone, you can play it together, and you could play it on some different, uh, different surfaces. Like if you taught it to your dad, your dad could play the rhythm on the coffee table and you could play the rhythm on the couch at the same time and see what it sounds like, right? Be kind of cool. Until I see you guys again next week and we're going to be doing some more cool stuff with these rhythms, um, take care of yourselves, take care of others, always take care of your learning, and stay safe, and you'll hear from me again in another seven days. Bye-bye.